What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as it really does mean an awful lot to me and help this channel grow. So today we are going to talk about not one, but two pair of releases that just came out. And in particular, these aren't the best looking shoes, but I want to go over them anyway. And you guys tell me your thoughts. So today we are going to talk about the off-white Blazer 77s in both the electro green colorway and the white and red colorway. So to begin, let's go ahead and kick us off with the Electro Green. Go over some of the details and some of the features that this one has versus the red and white. Let's go ahead and start, as always, with the outsole. As you could tell, it's a very uh, standard herringbone pattern. It goes one way, so it's not multi-directional. It is uh, very much omnidirectional. Now moving up to the midsole, the toe cap is very thick. It has a pattern on it that resembles maybe a barbed wire or uh, maybe screws. I, actually, I think it's screws. Well, either way, uh, it has some, some pattern on there, which is pretty decent looking. And then if you look further in, it has a hard plastic insert into the midsole with the orange splatter. Um, I'm not sure if you guys could pick that up or not. And then moving up to the uppers, of course, it would not be an off-white without the Swiss cheese. This is, in my opinion, what really turns me off for these particular shoes. I don't know that I necessarily want my socks being shown, but I think Seth Fowler said it best. You better have your sock game strong if you're going to wear these. Of course, the off-white laces with the eyelets that are opposite of each other. Uh, moving up to the tag itself, now this is very interesting. So the tag is more of a velvet material instead of the typical plastic material. Um, it is actually, for what it is, it's actually quite nice and quality is pretty nice on it. The insole itself has just a hint of a design there, of the off-white design. Uh, kind of moving on to the back, it uh, has the Nike logo on the back and then of course this ridiculous point at the end of the shoe. That to me is just disappointing. <laughs> if it didn't have that, I think I can probably see this being rocked more. Uh, but with that point in the back, it's just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the design and I, I'm... I'm glad people take the effort to really go outside the box. It's just this particular thing. I just see myself already getting the back of a staircase uh, and then this is just going to make me fall down them. So <laughs> I just don't really like the extended outsoles. But that's enough about that. And then now moving up to the tongue, you have the Nike off, which I like. I like that tag. Uh, the tongue itself is the split with the foam exposed. Yeah, overall for the Electro Green, it also comes with the, of course, the, the shoelaces uh, from Off-White, along with the black and green. So let's go ahead and move over to the white and red. Out of the two, this colorway is probably the better one for me if I was going to wear this. I am not. I will be putting these up for sale, and I'm sure they'll go quickly because there are people that like them. It's just not for me. But, so let's go ahead and kind of start it with the outsole again. The outsole is a very cream color, same pattern, has the herringbone pattern, omnidirectional. The toe cap is the same, so it has the same thickness, barbed wire there. The inserts are different colors, so you have the yellow insert uh, for the plastic and the blue insert with the hard black covering. With that, everything is pretty much the same. There's a couple of differences though. So the shoelaces, obviously, you have a white pair and a yellow pair of the off-white laces. Uh, but the design on the inside is a little bit different there. It has a, it looks like a, a paint drip or a hand mark uh, for that. And then, of course, the off-white Beaverton Oregon 
uh, stamp of approval there. And this is something I actually didn't see on the green colorway is this blue tag right there which just gives it a little bit something extra I'm assuming so the Swiss cheese is still there the Nike off tag is still there which you know again I like the red Nike on back and yeah that is about that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will not be keeping these these will be going for sale so, if you guys like them, go ahead and comment. If you don't, if you think they're you know, not your style, also let me know why not. So, until next time, I hope you guys have a great week and take care.